Can you see it? I've finished it. I have finished the flax sweater. Finally. <laughs> A little late. It's not blocked, but I've finished it. We had a beautiful sunrise this morning, but it's been a very deep, hard frost overnight and it's definitely getting colder. So I'm really glad I've finished my flax. Let me move the camera down so you can see it. So this is the flax sweater by Tin Can Knits, revisited <laughs> or reimagined. So usually it's one colour and it's got the garter down the side. So I didn't do the garter because I wanted to mix two colours together. So this is Drops Melody Yarn. And I've just, to blend it in, I've just done one of cream, one of the green. Some people call it blue, some people call it green. It's a teal colour. <laughs> so the Drops Melody is supposed to be a chunky yarn but this is an Aran weight sweater and I knit it on the five millimeter needles and it's turned out fine. So I would definitely use this for an Aran weight again because it comes out really nice. It's really nice and fluffy. I've done the sleeves long, but the cuff will hold them up. So they're not over my hands all the time, but it's nice to have that coziness this time of year, isn't it? So done those long and yes what can I say I'm just really pleased with it I like the fit of it it's baggy but not too baggy I didn't do there's new you can do the short row shaping at the back now I didn't do that I just did the simple method <laughs> by the time I got to start in doing this I wanted just to get a sweater out of this yarn with all the fun and games I had. So yeah, that is my new sweater, all cozy for this nasty weather we're having. It looks beautiful now, the sun's out, it's lovely. I should turn the camera around so you can see. So we have some lovely sunshine and a lovely blue sky. It looks so inviting, but it's still cold. Let's sit down and I'll show you what else I've been up to. Okay, so because this sweater was finished, I cast on the Whitmore. Well, no, actually, as I told you before, I didn't cast on the Whitmore when this was finished. I cast it on before. I was naughty, but that's okay. Hopefully I'll still get some presents. <laughs> so this is the Whitmore sweater by Amy Loudon. It's a DK sweater. I'm using Drops Lima, and this is a wool alpaca blend. And I'm really enjoying this yarn. It feels really nice and soft. I've not used this one before, but it's really lovely to knit with. It feels really nice in hand. If you've used this before, let me know down below how it washes and wears. I'd be interested to know. So I took a photo of this because I thought it's going to be hard to show you <laughs> where I am. So I'll put this in here. So I have finished the neckband and I am on to the lace work. The lace work is quite simple, quite straightforward. Obviously I've gone wrong, <laughs> but yeah, I was doing it last night and I was tired. I shouldn't have done it because I wasn't in the right frame of mind. I'd come from work, went to have my flu jab, then I was getting something out of the boot of the car and I banged my head. You know the lock part that hangs down on the boot of your car and I did a donk. It's when it comes coming up and it just hit me right on the top of the head. So um, I was a bit grumpy when I got in. <laughs> so I didn't do too well, so I had to go back. But it's really it's it, it is really easy to see where because you've... The pattern repeats are only short. Can you see where my stitch markers are? If I hold it over there. The pattern repeats are really short so you can see where you go wrong straight away and correct it. So yes, I'm really enjoying this one. So looking forward to working on this in the evenings now that I've got going because I've, I love that stitch pattern. As I say, I've done the cardigan version so I know I enjoy doing it. And it's really nice seeing it take shape because it's such a lovely design. 
So that is how far I am on the sweater. Sorry I didn't see you over the past few days, but I did actually record a little bit before work on Monday, but I didn't end up using it because I didn't do any more. I was just too tired after work and I thought I wouldn't be any fun to watch. And when I look back on the footage that I had taken, it was so dark in the mornings that, but because I record on my phone, it just didn't pick it up. It's a very bad quality picture. So I thought best to just leave it and just do my little vlogs on the days where I'm not actually working. That'd be better for both of us, really. <laughs> I want these vlogs to be very positive and happy. They're a little escape from all the craziness of getting ready for Christmas. So I only want to do them when I'm when I'm in the right mood. So I shall lift your spirits. <laughs> Those are the ones that I've been liking and enjoying is the ones that you feel happier when you finish watching than you started. So that's my intention for the videos. And from what you've been saying so far that has been achieved. So I'm really happy about that. Thank you for all your lovely comments. So gingerbread socks. So I have been carrying on with my gingerbread socks. So I have done the leg, I have turned the heel. It's funny actually that I was watching um, Denise from Dear Designs. She has started doing her vlogmas now. Well, she started putting them up now that she's back off holiday. And she said the same thing that happens to me is the only part of a sock now that she has to refer to instructions is the turning of the heel. It's where to start. Once I've started, once I've done two rows, you can see where you are for doing the short rows. So it turns and it's easy, but it's just knowing where to go halfway across to then start the backwards and forwards. So um, I use my contrast yarn. This is West Yorkshire Spinners, if you've just joined us. West Yorkshire Spinners Gingerbread. I've got the Drops Nord for contrast for the cuff and the heel. And I've just picked up stitches and started using the main ball once again. What I did to try and be clever, which doesn't usually work, as you know, because when you pick up the stitches, you have more stitches to go around. So the stripes change when it's a self striping. I thought I would carry on using the drops Nord for a couple of rounds of picking it up before I go back to the main ball. And so I thought the stripes might blend in better. I didn't know because it's slightly different colour from the cuff colour to the stripe colour. I didn't know how that would work out, but I think I've got away with it. I think it's matched in quite well. So those are, that's how I joined it. So this green one, this is a skinnier stripe because of that extra stitches. But then as I'm decreasing, coming along the foot back to my 64, then that would come back, come back in line again. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, really pleased with those. Am I on track? I've forgotten again. So if you're playing along at home to get a pair of socks, for, we started on 1st December, we're finishing before Christmas so we can wear our new socks on Christmas Day. So we are on Thursday, so we're on the foot. So I am dead on track at the moment. Woohoo, go Tina. <laughs> are you on track? Let me know. Um, I will be putting some photos up on Instagram today of how far I am. So if you want me to see your, how far you are in any of your Christmas projects, even if they're different ones to me, just put hashtag simply in stitches on Instagram and I shall take a look at your photos as well. That'd be lovely. So yes, I have got two days to do the foot and then the toes should be started on Saturday. So yeah, we're coming up to, when do we start the new sock? Oh, starting the second sock on Sunday. So that's quite a lot of knitting to do, isn't it? So I need to get onto that. But what I was going to do is just coming up for lunchtime and if you've heard some noises from underneath me it's because I've already recorded the next bit you're going to see which is making my lunch in the soup maker. So I'm making some soup, 
So that's been going on downstairs. So now I'll go down and see if it's finished and see if I can have my soup. And after I've finished that, I shall go spending some time on Foxy Chop. So I'm going to see if I can make her face a bit more. I started at the neck, but I've only just done a little bit on her. So I'm going to spend about an hour on her at lunchtime before I carry on with my chores this afternoon. <laughs> so let's go down and see how that soup's getting on. I'm going to make some soup in my soup maker for lunch. I went shopping this morning so this is what I call bottom of the fridge soup because it's generally the leftover vegetables from last week. So I've just got them all out and there's not much left actually this week but I've just got them out and I'm just going to chop them up, put them in my soup maker and in half an hour's time I should have lovely soup for my lunch. Literally, you can put anything in there. I've had all sorts in this soup maker. <laughs> I really love it because it's just, it just doesn't take any time. It's quick, easy. How are you with butternut squash? I find them really hard. I know the best way to deal with them is to put them in the oven and just take the skin. Oh, I get my onions. <laughs> it's attacking my eyes. <laughs> I like to make a full batch so if it's not up to the limit, I'll just show you inside in a moment, but if it's not up to the line then I generally just put in some potato or whatever else I've got in the fridge so that I've got plenty for a few days of lunches because I can always take it to work, freeze it, so it's worth making a decent sized batch. So I've got some stock here. And in that, I'm going to put some of this, I can't say it. <laughs> yeah, some of that, it's a Moroccan spice mix. I'm going to put some of this, about a teaspoon, I think probably be enough. Cute teaspoon, into there. To spice it up a bit, give it a bit of life. I'm going to pour this in there and I'll probably need some more water, yes I do. Okay, so that's up to the maximum there. So now I'm going to just pop this lid on. And now I'm going to choose smooth. So it blends it all for me, then just press on and it will cook my soup. And I can come back when it's finished. Okay, my soup's all ready. Now I've got some toast on the go. Yummy soup, here I come. Well, I've been spending some time with Foxy Chops and um, yeah, she's not been behaving herself. <laughs> it's not going to plan. So I'm still on the toothpicks. As I said before, I'm on her neck coming up. So, I'm on that piece there where you start and yeah as I say I'm not happy I think I've gone wrong I'm still on toothpicks obviously I need longer needles so I think what I should do is rip it back get some proper needles with the 3.5 if you didn't see it before I've had to go down a couple of needle sizes because I wasn't getting gauge and the fabric was too loose. So I need to get some smaller needles, still short ones. Um, I don't really want to have a cable on them because that gets annoying. 
So I just want some straight small needles, 2.5s, and start again. So I think I am going to crack on with those socks tonight. I was thinking just get part way down the leg and then see where I am tomorrow because I don't want to lose track because it doesn't matter if the sweater, what when the sweater's finished, there's no time on that one. But I do want those socks finished, so I don't want to get behind. So I'm going to concentrate on those tonight. But for now, I'm losing the light. So I think I'm going to say goodbye and I shall see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye for now.